how to drop go on restart. Hey, welcome back to Dallas Sports. If you're new here, as usual, this is me, Ryan. Today, we've got a video, please keep watching. Hopefully, we can encourage everyone, please do not just click and then go off. This would really help to push our channel if you play it throughout. Here, guys, today we're gonna quickly touch on how to drop call on restarts in sevens, or if you feel like in a, in a 15s, if it is up for you to, to drop call and score some three points for your team. Okay. So, restarts for 15s or even 7s. The idea is, what I would normally aim for is about 12 meters, right? It gives my chasers a good opportunity to be able to win the ball back. So walk with me quickly. I normally encourage the chasers especially, like the wingers or the fast guys, to start on the touch line and run from out to in on the J line so that they can see the ball, break the ball and try and catch it or hit it back, especially in 7s by 15s as well, very effective. A lot of teams in 15s, they end up kicking deep because they want the opposition to kick the ball out and then they can get the ball again. What if you need to score to win and there's no time? This is perfect scenarios where you can actually land the ball right here. 9 out of 10 times the guy receiving the ball is probably a bit deeper okay not so close to the 10 and this is what you're going to end up doing if you kick it really short you force him to come forward now, a lot of guys do not want to go forward especially with guys chasing from 10 meters away right they're going to go forward and they're going to be under pressure square on so their focus and 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 here's the thing their vision is on the ball there they can't pick up anyone coming from a j-line does that make sense so Restarts, this is not about kicking the ball, where to kick the ball, not yet. It's about where do you want to land the ball to give your team an opportunity to win it back. Okay? Now guys, this is my view as a kicker. Obviously I want my chasers to start early, so by the time I'm kicking the ball they're still behind, but they're already on the go. As you can see, the four corner, that's the zone I'm going to try and drop the ball into my team opportunity to win it back. Just a quick voiceover. So here I'm facing the ball and the seam in the direction where I'm going to be kicking. So I'm looking for a really smooth spot to bounce the ball. I'm not square on, facing straight. I'm actually, the ball is facing in the direction where the ball should be going. Not straight. So that way it gives me an opportunity to strike the ball on a 45 degree angle. So the seam is pointing towards the touch line. Just like so the ball's gonna drop up and my foot is gonna come from this angle here underneath the ball. Okay, and I'm gonna try and set it up and give them enough time. Okay, just watch. Like this video, just ask questions, like, subscribe, and share.